What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the weekly update and just getting you guys up to date if you're not at your console or you haven't seen the news yet and you haven't seen the updates yet and the new cards and stuff like that. Our first thing I want to talk about lads right is look at the filter that's on this Maradona clip here. I love this old style filter. They should definitely add this that you can play like with a filter or whatever into the game and I do like the clips man. I do like the presentation of the clips and stuff showing iconic goals and big time goals from these matches. Um, yeah I just feel look I just feel like there's a lot of unfulfilled p potential with this game at the moment and like I just feel like that there could be so much more being done um to to showcase what they already have because there's a lot of stuff that kind of goes under the radar um like every week but stuff like this like the filter there like that they've used for this obviously i know it's probably post uh you know in post production when they're video recording it or they're editing it or whatever um but i've often said this that like little things like that that are cosmetic but that could make a huge change like imagine playing a fully kind of like you know a fully edited option file master league classic master league from you know from uh, the lads that do the classic files for pez universe with like this filter system with the short shorts like little things like that but we're going to have a big blowout video this video is just going to be a very short and sweet kind of a weekly roundup of everything that's there so authentic match if you guys have missed this already there's nothing in authentic match apart from the international cup experience that's still the same thing it ends in 14 days if you've not cleared that definitely do clear that we've also got in the events here uh for dream team which are dream team squad the eFootball league has reset so another month has passed, another phase has passed, and I, I still have ran out of time, lads. I'm back into Division 6. So yeah, it is going to it is gonna be a, a struggle again to get up. But um, yeah, I just think a lot of people have stopped playing it, man, because they're all in Division 9 and 10 again. So uh, yeah, we are going to try our best and hit it hard over the Christmas holidays uh, to try and get up. But yeah, I just, you know, I, I just think that there needs to be a little bit more time for people that don't get to play it as much because, you know, I do record a lot of content and do a lot of videos. Like, it might take me, like, four or five nights of getting clips to do a player review, you know what I mean? Or to test out a player when I'm doing a team review. So, yeah, it can be hard for me to actually find the time around everything else, but we do try. National teams, you get your free player of the week there. We could do a video on that. You've also got a bit of a slight change up to the International Cup under 2100 and the International Cup with no limit on it, right? So instead of scoring goals now to get your 50 e football coins, you need to actually accumulate points, right? So you need to get one point in the first challenge, one point in the second challenge, and then you need three points in challenge number three. Um, and it's the same obviously in the international cup and the international cup under 2100 so that's an interesting little thing as well uh look it's not obviously gonna it's not going to be the most exciting thing that they've added but yeah it just kind of switches it up a little bit um you know and maybe there is a method behind the madness of where they're kind of going with these international cups when they do eventually bring in the full filtering system that you know maybe you will be able to create like our own cups um with a filter system already built in because at the moment it is kind of slightly hard to do it you're depending on people if i was set up, set up a tournament uh you know where i say like right you know the team strength is 2000 no white benching like you have to have players that are 70 overall or above on the bench somebody will still find a way to actually get a better team than like what i would want in the tournament to be coming up against you know a fair team so there's always going to be ways like that that people look for for get aheads and stuff so i do think they need to kind of look at these under 2100 cups there are a lot of kind of loopholes to be able to get like a beastly squad with white benching and stuff which is a pity uh because i do think that there is a massive future in that mode for people that don't want to just buy the best cards and train up the best players they want to play with like three four star teams uh yeah so on from that we have a couple of new objectives added as well they talk about it here we'll get to the packs in a second so it's into the last two weeks of the clear objectives um campaign here so they are all campaign objectives there as you see they've added a load to that they've added the next round of them there um and then they, they can be cleared by doing those right so you've got the challenge events and the tour events so um they will open and automatically clear as you're playing it scoring goals you can see the full list of them here i think so if you get the objectives here and then you go into or sorry that's career if you go into campaign objectives right you can see when you go into this here, you will see here. That's where they are if you click on it. 
So that's what you need to do. You need to score the goals. 120 goals will get you every single item on this. And there's some good prizes, man. I mean, you're talking about straight away there. You're talking about another, like, what, 300,000 GP. Um, and then you're talking about, what, 30,000 trainer trainer programs. And that's just for the tour events. Then in the challenge events, you've also got this. Uh, you've also got more stuff. And then you've got the all the complete ones. When you complete 18 objectives, you get another... 50 e football coins so for people wondering how to play this game free just do all the campaigns it's you know it, they do give you a lot of stuff and then last but not least we do have the new player cards i've already did the reviews on these lads i've done the reviews on them we've got baddest shooter maradona and the nielsen and we've also got the international cup the world cup selection from last week uh player of the week so there's some nice players in here lads my pick of them would obviously be this guy gavardiol uh son and probably uh I actually I don't know who I picked was it this guy I think it was this guy with super sub yeah this guy's amazing Arasqueta absolutely you know like really really good player as a left midfielder defensive kind of left midfielder and then we also have the pick of this week which is Maradona Batistuta and Nielsen like probably up there with three of the best epics that they have released Batistuta is just a goal a game if you're able to use him the Nielsen is one of the best fastest best dribbler wingers in the game that they've released so far and Maradona is one of the highest rated players in the game as well. It's absolutely insane skill, stats, dribbling, passing, shooting. Um, and if you're good at finesse shots, lads, you should be able to score a goal a game with Maradona if you get a chance and are good at the angles, uh, which I might do a video on to help you with your shooting and stuff. So and that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a good week. We are going to be doing a video on a breakdown of kind of my thoughts with the game at the moment. I am going to be heading away for a week in December, next week or the week after. Um, so I do want to get your feedback and hopefully I'll be able to kind of talk about what I'm, you know, uh, when the time comes and discuss a couple of things. But for now, I do want to hear what your guys' thoughts on the game are. You know, are you playing more of it and enjoying it less? Are you playing less of it and enjoying more? I don't have enough time a month, man, between doing the videos, the reviews, everything, to just sit down and play it. But when I am sitting down to play my divisions and sitting down to play the events, I am enjoying the core gameplay. Like, I definitely am enjoying the core gameplay um, in a time where I'm not really enjoying other games. I mean, the new Call of Duty, it's just not for me, man. It's too slow. You know, I don't like that big Battle Royale experience. I'm more of a Rebirth Island type of player. Um, you know, get in and get out for an hour and just have a load of crack. Um, but other games, yeah, I'm not really feeling a lot of games at the moment of, you know, like, like eFootball is kind of scratching that game and itch for me, especially creating content and interacting with all you guys. Um, it's just, yeah, I, I am enjoying it. I can see a lot of the issues, which we'll get into in my video and talk about a, a couple of other things, such as the Bruno cup and my thoughts on that, the community and a couple of wider issues facing the community and stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know where you're at with the game. Let me know the good, the bad, the ugly. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.